My name is Matt Eason. I'm a personal injury and workers' compensation attorney in Sacramento, California. I've been handling traumatic brain injury and concussion-related cases for the last 25 years. But I understand concussions not just from the courtroom, but also from the playing field. As a youth rugby coach for the last 15 years, I'm personally aware of what happens when individuals have concussions, how to recover from those concussions, and what's best to do for the recovery. I've had approximately 50 hours of concussion training, and I've even consulted with some of the best doctors in the country, and in particular, Dr. Bennett Omalu, who is the famous doctor for challenging the NFL regarding his concussion policies. The first step to returning to work after concussion or traumatic brain injury is to first get the medical attention that you need. There's a lot of different opinions out there about what you should and should not be doing in the early stages of concussion. Most of the conventional wisdom, though, says you want to rest the mind. That typically means no electronics, as in no games, no TVs, no smartphones, things of that nature. And a lot of times it means staying in a dark or dim lit place. But rely on your doctor's advice as to the early stages of concussion. The most typical symptoms with concussions are usually blurred vision, dizziness, and memory issues. Those symptoms typically resolve themselves for most people between three and 10 days with the great vast majority of them within the first three days. So that's great news. However, a lot of people will continue to experience cognitive ability, some memory struggle, and some challenging mental issues for up to 100 days unless they take proper steps. During those first days, that's the critical time to really, really rest the brain and do as little as possible. The second step to recovery from a concussion is usually the one that people make the biggest mistake on. What you want to do is you want to be completely concussion symptom free, or at least the major symptoms, for seven full days. Once you're symptom free, then you return to a very light duty or very modified work duty. You're only maybe lifting three to five pounds, maybe only walking five to 10 minutes at a time, but you want a very limited duty for the next seven days. So it's seven days doing practically nothing, and then seven days doing a very light modified duty. Once you're symptom free, you've had seven days of no activity, seven days of a very light duty. Again, people tend to make a mistake and they wanna go into full duty. You don't, you actually wanna to go to another seven days of a moderate activity as a general rule. You're building up back to where you were, so now you can exercise a little bit more in a day, a light jog, long walks, small lifting, but you still wanna be careful not to overdo it for that next seven days. So the good news is if you've done what you're supposed to do, now you're ready to return to work or return to play. You've taken those weeks off and you've progressed up. And what's important about that is that you've reduced your risk to a major injury from a second concussion. It's back-to-back -back concussions typically is what has the greatest risk of long-term injury, and by having a slow, gradual return to work, you've reduced that risk. Also, there are a lot of studies out there that say that your cognitive deficit from a concussion lasts for up to 100 days. But when you've had a gradual return to work or gradual return to play, that 100-day deficit has been shown to be reduced about 43 days. Once again, my name is Matt Eason. I'm a personal injury and workers' compensation attorney. I'm not a doctor. You should definitely rely on your doctor's advice over these suggestions in this video. However, in meeting with your doctor, hopefully you hear some of the similar things and you can reinforce some of these concepts. If you've suffered an accident on the job or you've had a traumatic brain injury or concussion and you've got possible claims against somebody, I hope you'll consider reaching out to me. My name again is Matt Eason. And my firm is Eason and Tamburnini. We're located at 1234H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. You can reach us by phone at 916-438-1819 or on the web at www.capcitylaw.com. Thanks for watching and I wish you the best in your recovery.